morning. Right. Have we got the right chat up? Top chat, live chat. Um, oh, see, I've been totally unsuccessful covering up spots this morning. Um, just got back from Liverpool last night. If you're following me on Insta, you'll know that. Hi, Kelly. Um, yes, I thought what I'd do this morning, which I don't usually do, hi, Catherine, is show you what's going out. I Initially, I kind of thought, oh, I'll do a little packaging video like Karen does. Hats off to Karen. I don't know how you do it, Karen, because um, if everybody had to watch me packing this lot, it would take forever. So I thought also um, Karen's going live after me, I believe. Um, so, uh, yeah, Karen Fisher. So I'll, I'll show you what sold in the last... So I did my last post on Friday afternoon. We got back last night. So I've kind of got Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesdays, sales, and I suppose it says, yeah, it's, yeah, by the time I post, I guess I'm gonna have five days worth of sales here. Um, and actually it's 19 items. And I just started watching Karen's packing from Monday and then I had to get up. Um, I think hers was about 19 items just from the weekend, but yeah, I don't think I'm as much volume. So um, yeah, what I will do is I picked up some bits in Liverpool, um, obviously. Um, I got, yeah, a couple of hours one afternoon to have a quick you know, squiz around the city centre charity shops. Didn't get to the outskirts ones, which would be much better. However, got some bits. And also, um, I we had a stop off on the train in Wolverhampton, Steve's hometown. Um, and I got some bits from his charity shop. So might do a haul later, like this afternoon or this evening of that. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'll show you what's going out. I can't remember what I paid for everything, but I could probably hazard a guess. Um, so yes, where did I get to? Morning, DBG. Hey, pound girl. Morning, Karen. Um, hello, Auntie Margaret. Hi, Palacel. All right, Chris. Yeah, I'm well tired. I haven't even had my second cup of tea yet. In fact, I've just realised I haven't had breakfast either. But I literally uh, thought oh, I'll get this because I've got to get the packaging done before I can life can begin again. Um, yeah, oh, it's green dots. I hope everyone can hear me. Right, I'll show you. I've literally just grabbed it out of the garage, so I'll. Yeah, I'll show you the non-clothing first, but it's a bit all over the shop. I might have to check what things were sold for. Oh, yeah, you've got a big tax rebate, Cheryl. That's good. Um, I'll tell you what. I mean, I was just, like, freaking hanging on by a thread in January for sales. That might be a bit dramatic. It wasn't that bad, but I felt like it was, but I am quite dramatic. Um, yeah, I went to Wolverhampton. Did I take my tin hat? Oh, Palisol, you go there, Sawson. Oh, no, I didn't realise that. You could have come and met, well, do you enjoy sourcing this? <laughs> you could have come and met us for a drink or something. We literally had, like, train stops, and then I think three hours later we were on our next train, so we just ran out, and they're really spread out, aren't they? Um, yeah, it was, it was delightful. Um, I guess you saw a couple of my pictures on Insta. Um February is bizarre, isn't it? Yeah, January was great for some people, and I was like, oh, why is mine awful? And then February is actually ticking along just lovely. <coughs> I mean, it's no November. Last November was freaking incredible, but that's quarter four job for you. Um, whoa. February's been the worst month in seven years. Is that, Cheryl, also compounded by the fact that when you were having morning sickness, you weren't able to list, do you think? Jam is dire for Karen. <coughs> if I've already done double what you did last year. But that would make sense, Karen, because our we're the same. <laughs> we're always the same. Yeah, knock on effect. Right, I'll start showing at uh, show. Oh my god, I can't even show it showering you. I can't even speak. I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, this is a beast. It's only tiny, but it's really heavy. It's, um, I don't even know how to, it's Le Creuset, 
the Cruiser 23, so yeah, freaking beasts, aren't they, in terms of heaviness, but because he was so little, and actually he was about, oh God, he was only like a couple of pounds odd um, in one of my locals, a bit scratched up, but it doesn't matter, like with something like the Cruze, you just mentioned that, and I, it's actually wet when I picked it up off the shelf, I'm like, oh, it's wet, like thinking, what the hell's in here? She said, oh, yes, we've just tried to clean it, it's filthy. <laughs> I was like, oh, good, uh, um, yeah, so it's so long, let me have a look, I'll have to check prices. Um, yeah, vintage Kazants, I don't know if I'm saying that right, brown enamel cast iron frying pan skillet I've got on there with two pouring lips and it's sold for, sold for £23 and um, yeah, £23. I'm assuming, am I, I'm a bit stupid actually when it comes to certain things, but this is, is iron, so it's not, I'm not in danger of this cracking or anything, am I in the post? I mean, yeah, I am a bit stupid, so it has a stupid thing to say. I mean, I'll box it well and bubble it up, but it's not a breaking hazard, is it a cracking hazard? Um, but yeah, um, yeah, it's not a bad return. I, to be fair though, I've, I had it on hire and I've had it for, Bubble wrap and double box. Okay, yeah, I mean, partly because of the weight. I'm talking about it just falling through a box. Um, I've had it on for a few months, to be honest. Um, takes a lot to break cast iron. Oh, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm not sometimes a bit stupid to stuff like that. Maybe a dent on the Oh, right, yeah, it's cast iron, but enamel can chip. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure it's secure in there then. Yeah, it's partly, I think, the weight of it going through a blooming box. It's like, Oh, yeah, I hope it's actually, I'm assuming it's a two to five kilogram job. I've just charged enough for that to be the case. Anyway, yeah, reasonable profit for that. Um, I think this is the last of the Playmobil. Um, I can't, it's not, it wasn't a complete set, um, but there was lots of random other extra bits in it. I can't even remember where I got it from. Could have been car boot. I think it was car boot, and I put, that's right. I think I paid about three pounds and there was lots of other stuff in there as well, not just the police. And I'd already sold that off at like 15 or 20 pounds, whatever else was in there. And then this one, I think I just got rid of at, um, let's have a look. 10 pounds, 10 pounds plus shipping. Um, yeah. I, I really, I say, I'm not doing playing bill anymore. It doesn't really do anything for me. Although I know it's cute. It's totally cute, but yeah, I'm not sure it does anything for me. It seems to take a little while, although I probably put it on too high. Um, but then like the other week I saw some and it was like £1.50 and it was like the um, Indian, it was like Cowboys and Indian set with the, it like had a wigwam. Apologies if I'm using the incorrect terms, but it was all, you know, uh, like traditional set and it was like £1.50 and it's, oh, I don't know, 15 or £20 sold like really quickly. So I guess some of them are desirable. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not really into playing, but that's the last bit I think for now. Unless I see it so cheap. Sometimes I just see some stuff so cheap I just can't leave it behind. <coughs> Karen auctioning off coats, I had enough of them all now, I tell you. Yeah, I, I'll tell you, but we all know, and you're the same as me, Karen. I'll say, oh, nothing counts, they're too big, I can't stand it, I can't stand storing them. Luckily, I've got a couple of coats going out today. They weren't bought that long ago, and I've come back with a flipping beast of a coat from Liverpool. It took up half my case, but I couldn't leave it behind. You'll see it later. It was just, it was reduced from 30 to 9.99, and it was, it's, it's, yeah, snow jacket, freaking beast it is. But yeah, to be honest, I think I'm having more luck with the men's jackets and coats. I'm getting into the menwear than women's. Um, yeah, morning day. Yeah, I bought, yeah, I bought a coat. <laughs> I bought a coat. There we go. It's all out in the open. Hi, George. Oh, yes, yeah, I've, I've got to catch up with everybody's videos. I've seen you've done another one of your probably fantastically produced videos, George. So, yeah, this is just rough and ready. Um, yeah, so, okay, this is a standard... Oh, I can't get out of this little box. 
standard thing for me that I pick up when I see them if they are a few pounds or less. It's a uh, travel backgammon set. And this went for, well, there we go, I need to wrap it up a little bit inside. It went for 20 quid. There is one, what was it? Anne, is it I think it's called Anne Carlton that I had once before that went for a fair amount more. Um, so that must be a desirable like to have it branded. But if you just get these, I mean, this is a little one. If you just get these normal and you get it for a few quid, 20 quid, and they go quickly. I've had it on for probably a couple of weeks. Um, George, another one dropped last night. Yeah, what about your videos, George? Oh, sorry. Um, right. Another non-clothing. Flipping love selling big sealed puzzles. Um, oh, yeah, Margaret. This is sold. Um, 3,000 piece. What is this? Falcon. You can tell it's a slightly better quality because there's crap on the back and sometimes it's just like a white. And it's, uh, yeah, 3,000 pieces. I I don't really do 1,000 piece anymore. I would do it if it was like Game of Thrones or something. I only do sealed. Um, bought this, I think it was... Four ninety nine last week, um, and it sold. For, I think it sold for thirty. I'm just double checking. Yeah, thirty. So on for a few days basically, and um, my puzzle in the kitchen is going great. Yeah, I'm doing the Miller's antiques glassware, and um, it's embarrassing, but I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, so four ninety nine into thirty, and which I bought from a very rude lady um, in a charity shop. She's rude every week, to be fair. I could probably don't want to get into the story. She's rude every week, but she was the worst I've ever seen her to a poor bloke before me last week. Um, and then she was freaking... I'm going to have to tell this story another time. But the great thing is, I bought this for 4 tonight. It's gone for 30 already, so happy days. Um, do I find any picture sales as long as high pieces? Yeah, to be honest. Um... Yeah, it's the, I used to do thousand piece puzzles. I, I did all right with them, but they're slower. You know, the higher piece puzzles are harder to find and um, yeah, people are looking for them and, and they sell pretty quickly. I've got, I've got a couple that aren't saying, but they're not such good quality. Um, but yeah, I've got, I can't imagine actually, to be honest, my sort of what I can cope with is a thousand piece, 3000 pieces and that you can see all the, sorry people who don't do puzzles, that would be a tricky, a tricky old beast, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, anyway, let's move on. Oh, my word. Oh, my cash is falling out. don't want to run over my cash from it. Let's get rid of this little cushion. Let's get rid of it. Um, what do I look for for puzzles, George? As many pieces as possible, more than a 1,000. So 1,500 and up I go for and sealed. I mean, I'm not counting pieces, and I'm not doing them all either. Um, yeah. All right, Lex, what is that you've just said? Is that some kind of street talk I'm meant to be able to say because I can't? Um, Killer with kindness. Yeah, but this is me, Kelly. <laughs> to be fair, we've kind of put up with her, well, I've put up with her awkward prickliness every week. I just smile and take it. And I've seen her be rude to other people, but I'm going to have to tell you the story another time but she went too far this time. Um, right. So this is a Jules pair of shorts, which I've actually sold again. I think I got this from a special place a long time ago. I reckon I paid 50p for these. They've sold before for hire. And this is part of my... <laughs> this is part of my... Um, uh, the stuff when I had, the, I had the 177 auctions, all starting at Fiverr. Out of 177, four, but this was back in January, 14 sold, mostly for around a fiver. I got rid of, altogether, I think about five black sacks of stuff. And then there was, I don't know, maybe 70 items that I couldn't let go of. So I put them mostly all back on for 7.99 plus shipping. And they're selling all the time. They're selling so much that I actually thought, Oh, I questioned it and thought, oh, is this does this what I should be doing? Should I be getting stuff as cheap as a flipping can, just sticking it on for seven ninety nine, and it's all selling quite quickly? Uh, you know, I was selling like six or seven a week, and then 
And then I think I came to my senses and I was like, no, <laughs> that's the answer to that. Anyway, yeah, so 7 99 glad to see those going. Um, I've got some more 7 99 as well. Yeah, she was a nasty. If you want to hear that story, I'll try and do it quickly, but let me know. Um, right. Yeah, Bowdoin. Oh, this is from the um, the big Kashmir halls. So this went for 35, uh, paid around 10 pounds. Uh, yeah, they average about 10 pounds each um, and it's starting to sell now. So I'm pleased about that, making about 20 pounds a, um, tell us the story. <laughs> okay, right, I'll do this quickly. Right, this old hag, every week she's crotchety and you know, you just put up with it. And then you wouldn't, you just would not, you, honestly, you just can't believe it. Like. We just wondered what her life is like to be that in such a bad mood every week for a start, but nasty. Um, she uh, so what happened? There was a poor old guy that came in before uh, that was at the counter before me. Listen to this. He brought in all of his shrapnel, all of his coppers, a whole bag of it. Um, don't know how long he'd been saving up for, you know, and um, as a donation, he gave it to the lady. And she took it and the bag split. So the, the copper started going, you know, all down the counter and that. She was so rude to him. I could not believe it. She, she was like, oh, what a silly thing to do. Fancy bringing a bag in with a hole in it. You know, and I was like, she's it's just giving you a donation. And also, you don't know how long he's been saving up for. We don't know if that's actually quite a lot of money for him. He's giving you money. She was so rude to him. And he was... You know, he was obviously embarrassed. My aunt said he kind of like gave out a nervous laugh, and she said, "Well, I don't find it funny. I don't think it's funny at all. What a silly thing to do." I just thought, "Are you?" I just can't believe it. I thought, "God, you, you've taken the biscuit today. You, you honestly, what a nasty little woman she is." And um, then, and also, I was thinking, "Do you think he'll come back in ever again? Do you think he'll give you another donation? It doesn't make any sense." Well, she's a volunteer, obviously. Some of those volunteers, geez, are right. Um, so. Yeah, nasty. And um, then the manager was floating around. She came up and went, oh, I've got a paper cut. And I thought she was trying to, it was so awkward. I thought she was trying to create a distraction. But it turns out later, because I went to talk to her, she hadn't realised what was going on. Um, yeah, he wasn't paying. He was just giving it to them. He was just giving them his like little collection of coppers. It was just a donation. Um, you would have said something, well, yeah, we're coming to this. So then next, so I come up with my puzzle and a few bits of clothing. Um, like I always generally get quite a lot of stuff in there because um, they they tend to turn stuff around and I might as well say it's Oxfam. The manager is lovely in there if anybody's working out which one it was. Um, but she's got like this strategy where she, you know, stuff sort of reasonably priced, reasonably high. And she marks it down within a week. She likes to keep it going over. And so I get some nice stuff from there. Um, so the next, so I'm putting myself on the counter. And she says at the top of her voice, she's still like going to faff about this. She hasn't picked up all the money. She's just still on a faff. And she said, what? She recognized, what do you do with all this stuff? Like really loudly. And I was just like, I was actually speechless. And she said, are you putting it on eBay? Like at the top of her voice, if anybody in that shop could have heard. And I'm just looking at her. And I, so I just pointed to the puzzle. I didn't know what to say. I just went, because I wasn't ready for it. I just went, well, the puzzle's for me. Just lying, just thought, I just didn't know what to say. She said, they can't all be for you because they're all different sizes. You can't be wearing them all. And I felt like Spanish Inquisition. And this was really loud as well. And my aunt was like over there behind me. And I just looked around at her and she was, um, you know, like, sort of a bit taken aback as well. So yeah, didn't know what to say. And then so she started packing it into a big caravan because and I had my IKEA and I said, oh, I'll, I'll put that in here if you want. No, I'll fit it all in the same bag. And then she like just stopped interrogating me and I just, it paid. And I was looking around and like, the manager had gone out the back with some guy that had come in who we assumed was another reseller. And I, I thought, I really want to go and talk to the manager. This is ridiculous. It's so, she's so awful. Making me feel awkward, number one, but the guy before me. So, um, 
I was like, I was really thinking about it. And we were going around some of the shops. And I said to my aunt, well, I'll, I'm going to, I feel, really feel like I should say something. This is, this is wrong. You know, sometimes I just feel like someone needs to make a stand. Somebody needs to say something. This is out of order. Um, so I, I, when we were coming back towards the car, I said, I'll look through the window and see if that hag is still behind the counter. And she was, and I could see the manager. The manager is lovely. She's always talking to somebody about their woes and their problems. She was sort of in the middle of the shop and I was sort of looking through the window. She was like, what is that woman doing? Because I didn't want, I didn't want to talk to the manager, obviously in front of this woman. And then she started coming towards the front of the shop with this lady she was talking to. She was carrying some mugs and she got towards the front. And, I, and I've got my ski gloves on and everything. And I've got my nose right up and I just went like this. And she looked at me and she must have thought, what the heck? And as she, so she looked and she was walking over and I went like this and she came outside. And then I said, what had happened? And she was totally shocked. And I said, oh, I thought you realized about the guy, you know, the bag breaking with all of his coppers and you, you'd done the paper cut as a distraction. And she said, no, I didn't. I just, I saw some money going on the floor. But I didn't know what was happening. And I was like, well, it was so awkward. I thought you realized and we're just trying to, you know, fluff out the situation a bit. And also I told her what she'd said to me. Oh yeah, I played them and I said, I presume, I presume like anything that I buy from here, it's kind of up to me what I do with it. And she said, she was like, yes, as soon as you step over that threshold, you can go and put it in a skip if you like. And I said, what she said, oh, what are you doing with all this stuff? And are you putting it on eBay? And she's just like, what, to you? And I said, yes. And she, I said, you know, to be fair, she just made me feel awkward, but the guy behind was, yeah, in fact, my aunt chipped in, didn't you, Mark? <laughs> and said something like, yeah, she can look after herself, she's fine, but that poor guy. <laughs> um, Mum just said she would have a word about both incidents. And Mark's like, well, we can't go in on that day anymore, which she was obviously in there every week. And I said, actually, to be honest, I will go back. And if she's in there, what's she gonna do? If she has another go at me, I'm just gonna grass her up again. What a nasty, nasty old lady. Um, yeah, so sorry if that went on for too long, but I was so pleased that I did say something because like people will just be allowed to get away with being like this in their lives. It's not, it's not on. Yeah, it was, it was none of our business as well. I, you know, if it had been somebody that I had a bit of rapport with and I could chat to, I would have. Yeah, I will speak to people in charge shots about what I do with my stuff, but not her. She was saying, "Oh well, I don't. I mean, I don't mind, but we clearly do because the way you're saying it." Excuse me. Jeez, Aru. Chris, the woman asked for a donation for making a profit on it. Yeah, it's the volunteers that are really, and you know, the manager is absolutely sweetness and she was just shocked, shocked by it. And um, yeah, well, it wasn't just me, it was the guy as well, oh, for goodness sake. But yeah, I am made of fairly strong stuff most of the time and I will just go back in there and if she's there, I just, What's she going to do? Even if she brought it up, I, I'm more prepared now to say, yes, I did say something. Um, you know, there's no need for that. Um, right, anyway, I'll get on. Yeah, there's um, one of my locals, The one of the managers knows what I do, do and like where I sell house things so and she asked me how it's going with mine. Um, but yeah, I kind of always wondered, well, if you're going to get some biddy like that. All right, there we go. Oh, got that off my chest. Right, so this is a Burghaus men's extra large um, fleece. I think Burghaus is a bit hit and miss. What did I sell this for? And I don't even know what I paid, but I'm guessing around four or five, three, four or five pounds it could have been. Um, where are I? Oh, I've got two. Oh no, that was a barber. Uh, what did I sell this for? Burghaus fleece yesterday, 20 pounds. And there's a little bias note, thanks in advance, kind regards, that's nice. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing that's kind of a bit of a bread and butter, bread and butter sale. Um, I'm sort of discovering this with some of the man's stuff. Some of it, oh, it's like the women's, I suppose, it's like anything. Some of it's bread and butter. Depends if I want to do bread and butter shirts or fleeces or if I want to hang out for the other stuff, but that's another story. Um, yeah, you'll recognise some of this from my hauls, actually. Um, this is the Noah Noah top that I got the other week, which I think I might have paid £4.50 for, sold for 20 
had it last week. Might have been last week. Yeah, really quick sale. And I was saying, like, there's obviously somebody in that area that buys Noah Noah because I always get Noah Noah from there. And I'm glad it's gone already because it's that colour. And I just I just hate being around this colour. So I feel like I'm going to accidentally just chuck my tea over it or something. So that's good. That's gone already. Um, this Cardi um, is, blah, 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 blah. I think it went for 9 99 yeah, this is part of my, I know the stuff that I'm trying to get rid of because I've started putting 99 on the end of it and I know it's something that I'm just trying to get rid of and if somebody messages me saying, would you take blah, blah, I'd probably take it, although those people tend to turn out to be pain in the butt. It's no, it's not, it's unbranded, I think it's a hand net. It's a nice tribal print, can't remember where I got it from, just can't remember and it went for night. I'm just clearing stuff like this now because there there'd been no previously no interest in it, so 9.99. Um, boom. This is, uh, I'd say it's a mistake buy, and I think, I'm assuming I got it cheap because I would have realised this has been shrunk because it's meant to be a size 14, but it's sea salt, and that's why I'm sure I get a bit dazzled, but oh, it's sea salt, you know, I don't care if it's shrunk, but look at the size of it, that's meant to be a 14, and you can, you can feel by the, so what I did was just set, I just said that it's shrunk, um, and I think, what did I get rid of it at? Went pretty quickly to be fair. Sold it for $12.99. Um, yeah, I don't even know where I got it from. But it was recent. Yeah, so I put it as an 8 to 10, and then I've just explained that it's shrunk and it, it says it's 14, but it's measuring like an 8 to 10. Yeah, I think I've made a profit on it, but I must stop doing that, just being dazzled by blooming brands. Um, what's falling out of here? Oh, I'm pleased to get rid of this. It's a golf top, Nike golf top. I'm assuming this is a business, you know, you can get them stamped with um, the business name. So I had to get rid of it quickly. I think it might have gone for $12.99, wherever you are. Oh, no, that's actually built, went for 20 quid. Actually, yeah, I went for 20 quid, so that's all right. That would have been fine, because if I paid four quid, three or four pounds or whatever for this, Still made nice bread and butter profit out of that. And I was, yeah, a bit unsure with that being on it. So that's cool. Um, this is nice. Uh, Mel, if you're watching this, you'll remember this from the haul. It's OBS. Um, and I, everything, I'm also hit and miss with Hobbs because, and this is a modern label, but... Yeah, my aunt was out with me when I got these, paid £7.50. I've got a couple of, but it's a gorgeous dress, but basically it's floaty and silky and, and it's got these lovely, these pleats are in apparently, and I do like this kind of modesty thing. Um, I think if I'd have had a wedding, to, oh no, I probably wouldn't, that's not me at all. Um, yeah, and I paid, yes, yeah, paid £7.50 and it's off 35 and that was in a few weeks, I think, so that is. And also, I don't have to be keeping hold of something that um, is all floaty and silky and in danger of me getting grease spots on it or something. Um, gosh, there's a lot. I'll start trying to rattle through it. Um, so this is a Ted Baker stripey number. I think I've got this quite reasonably, actually. Honestly, this must have been, I must have got this. You might know this from home. I might have got this last week and I can't remember where from, what I paid for it. But Ted Baker's a bit hit and miss as well. Ted Baker, to be honest, I feel like Ted Baker is flooding the market at the moment. So I wouldn't have paid that much. Maybe for, oh, did I get this? It needed a slight deep bobble. Um, yeah, cotton cashmere. Um, so I'm pleased that's gone really quickly as well. And it's a Ted size five, which is good. Men's Ted size five, which is oh, I'll probably put it in the listing actually. Where are you? Um, oh, it's an XL. Uh, where did it go for? Oh, I went for 25 pounds, so that's yes, yeah, decent profit actually. So I'm happy with that because I was a bit oh, Ted Baker's a bit hit and miss, but it's a good size. But I was worried with stuff like you know, that's supposedly an XL, but I guess it's because everyone's wearing everything slim fix. I wouldn't say that was an XL. I think if Tom put that on and he's about a large, it would be gripping to bits. You wouldn't want it gripping to. So, anyway, good profit. Um, this I've had for ages. It's such a shame. I was doing so well with, I love these um, 
like 80s navy blue blazers gold buttons i think this is a winsmore <coughs> pure new wool is it a winsmore what is that what are you why can't it say label oh maybe it's not a winsmore maybe it's just that that's weird isn't it let's see what i put in the list down yeah anyway i love these um but i can't get them to sell for like 20 quid um it's the mns the st michael ones that i used to pick up and sell for about 19 and this one has sold for oh it's sold for 17 i think i dropped it to that because i've had it for ages and it takes up a lot of room i've put that it's winsmore i fucking hope it's winsmore but i can't find the label where have i got that from i don't even know your new wool am i getting a twit oh, word that might involve a message to the bar if i can't identify its brand um right another buttons oh is it on the button no i think it's just no it's just like crests crowns i don't think it can be wins more i think i must have sold another one because otherwise it would say wouldn't it oh i'm such an idiot oh well um god look at this gorgeous label but i think i got this pretty cheap um God, I love the, you know, fully vintage. Um, so Prince of Wales check, uh, what, uh, what am I squeezing here? Shoulder pads. And yeah, I don't think I pay much for this. I, I love stuff like this, but I feel like it's totally undervalued. And I suddenly thought, oh God, this is never gonna sell. Um, I need to get rid because I'm just, I'm not very good at selling women's smart jackets, although I've just got two there, but I've been reducing them to, um get rid so what I, so I was well chuffed this came in and the, so what did it go for over 20 pounds so i'm sure the profit and that's fine it's another one of those things where i it just on that as a thumbnail it wasn't getting any interest i changed the thumbnail to literally a close-up of the pattern and the button and it sold really quickly and i keep doing that i keep thinking actually i'm going to use these thumbnails to put in a bit of detail just to draw people in to have another look have a further look and it seems to be um, working. <laughs> you can say it's just bloody hideous, Chris, but honestly, I, it's so 80s. Honestly, if if I had the place to wear it, I would I literally, I would just literally wear, oh, you can't see my head, like my thick black leggings like I could do and a black top under that, and I'd wear that. I think it is lush. So 80s, I think it's lush. But yes, you can just say that. It's absolutely fine. Um, oh, your lead photo is the label, Karen. I was I might have even changed one to that yesterday. I might have done that if the label's that good. Lex, thank you. Totes gorgeous, isn't it? Just oh, just I used to wear little jackets with you know shoulder pads as well. Power jacket. <clears throat> <laughs> and you went to the post box and your slippers. Respect to you. Yeah. Yeah, I still love the blazers with the gold buttons. And I did hear, you know, you can't trust everything they say is coming in because <clears throat> I'm sure last year at some point somebody said blazers were coming in and the frickin' didn't. So I was ready with all my blazers. Right, Crew Clothing Company. I tell you what, I won't pick Crew Clothing Company up anymore because it just hangs around. This is one of the, this actually, I got rid of at 7 99 had it so long it's a size medium it was on my yeah this was on auction for five pound start and i couldn't get rid of it so it's on the 7.99 get out of my life going than what i paid for it um here's another 7.99 er and this i'm i'm um yeah upset about this really it's oh is it dungaree shorts oh yeah it's dungaree shorts um i think it's top shop i think it's moto yeah um, and it's another 7.99er that I couldn't, I've just had since God knows when last time, I think for car boot cheap. So it, you know, it's literally still made me a profit, but that's lovely. Why didn't that sell last summer for festivals? Let's go now. 
Right, we're getting to some good stuff. I think, uh, yeah, so two bits left and they are some, what am I rolling over? They are a couple of goodies. Dungaree dress, Karen. Yeah, you can, just have the right, you know, tights with it and stuff. Lex will tell you what to accessorize it with. What's Lex up to? <laughs> Working an hour, attempted to go in your PJs. You're not on half term, Lex. Um, yeah, there you go, Karen. Lex's mum's wearing number 72. I saw a lady in Caversham, you know, fully white hair in, I think it was actual dungarees, like trouser dungarees, running across the road. And I just looked and thought, oh, brilliant. I want to be like you when I'm your age. You look amazing. Oh, next week's your half term. Oh, I'm not good. I won't comment, Lex. Um, yeah, so chuffed to bits for this. This I run into, um, this was just before the snow I got this and everyone was banging on about the snow when I went to Wokingham and I was like, oh God, I better like stock up because I'm going to be snowed in and I need stock. And so I literally ran into Woodley on the way home from Wokingham and got one thing, but it was this. Um, and I paid 9.99. It is a lovely polar quilt barber. There you go. And it sold for 80. So that was a few weeks ago, I guess, when the snow was on. It sold for 80. And um, bizarrely, the guy messaged and said, could I post it first class to get there, something or other? And I was like, um, no, sorry, I'm away. So I can post it Wednesday. And then, oh, that's a good point. He wants me to hang on to it. And then he said, oh, well, then could you hang on to it to Thursday because I'm back on Saturday. So he was going away. And I was like, oh, right, fair enough. That's fine. Um, I was going to say about this. Oh, yeah. So the thing with this, and I've already mentioned this, it's um, it's a size large, and I measured, it was in the women's, and I measured it, and I said, like, oh, I think it's about 14 to 16. And I was looking up, I found, you know, like the model number, right, it's a polar quilt, blah, blah, blah. And I could only find men's ones popping up, so no, I need the ladies. And I was at this for a while, until it dawned on me, this is, a, this is a men's large coat, it's not a ladies at all, it's just been put in the ladies. Um, and then when I realised, I was like, oh, now I can list it properly, it's a man's coat. But yeah, 10 to 80, take that all the time, thank you very much. Um, and this one's even better. This is a North Face. Yeah, if you've heard me talking about my little scrubby shops, there's two of them, which I really like. Hit or miss of whether I can get into them and pull over, there's gonna be a space. North Face, and it's a, I think it's called Triclimate. It's got like a, another layer like a fleecy layer that you pop and zip in and this was the one i definitely showed this on the hauls i remember saying about the women's gang oh not to me and um, it'll cut half price aren't they and like because it was a tenner and at the time well yeah i think even north face can be hit or miss i didn't i was a bit like oh i think i'll take a punt on this i think it might only be a medium or something i think i'll take a punt at a tenner i'll try it and then i got it for a fiver and it's so just so, so i haven't had it long either you know, it's one of those things, you could probably hold out for more, but I need to keep these big items moving. So for 80, so five into 80, thank you very much. Yeah, even nicer sale, thanks Anne, even nicer sale on the North Face. Um, so yeah, so yeah, for somebody that doesn't do coats, I've got yeah, a couple of coats, a couple of jackets going up, but I, unfortunately, I don't, I don't think I would do the like suity jackets anymore, like vintage suit jackets, because they do take a lot of space and they're, hang around and that's gutting because I would like to sell those more um but yeah the men's coats oh god I'll try and do a haul later oh my god the weight of this snow coat that I've got I'll show you later um treasure pirate hi Heather oh if I've missed anybody sorry um we should do a list of what we're looking for our own wardrobes and if we find one just sell to our mates for me, it's hippie stuff, goth stuff in a 12 or 14. Oh, okay. Sometimes I see stuff when I'm out, Heather, and I, you know, what are you doing? You know, I think, God, I bet Heather would love that. Um, yeah, it's tricky, isn't it, with properly knowing what 
you think people would like. Um, okay, the list is appearing. Karen wants some, <laughs> it's like a Father Christmas. I would like some oxblood bread, Doc Martin's size seven. Okay, see what we can do, Karen. Um, I don't know what I'm looking for. Thing is, I get stuff and then, well, it's the beauty of this, isn't it? You find it fits you, wear it for a bit and then sell it anyway. I was after some particular size, um, not your daughter's jeans. I have to remember the size and they were, oh, I'm not going into this now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need petite. It's annoying, isn't it? If I had an extra inch on my legs, it would really help, help me out. Chris, have you got a clothing order, Chris, or would yours actually be some kind of obscure games order? Can't get your button, not your daughter's jeans. Karen, they do these, what are they called? Basically, it's some kind of lifting you and pulling you in the right directions. Um, they're bigger for your butt then. Um, they do tend to always be tiny sizes, actually, that I find, if not your daughter's. I don't know why that is. Oh, all right, I'll go into that later because I've got that on the haul. I'm going to leave it there. I've really got to have another cup of tea. Karen's going on in a minute, I believe, with um, a haul. Oh, there she is. You can click on her dots to get to her channel and watch that. Um, and, um, oh, yes, my cousin is after, if anybody's selling uh, Lacoste jumpers, I know you put very large, oh, very large jumpers, size nine. I don't know what that equates to. Is that about three XL, Margaret? Um, but yeah, size nine. He's been buying them off eBay, and they come, and they're not. They're not. They're not the size. They clearly there's been some kind of shrinkage somewhere because they're not the size they say. Um, yeah. Hall later. Oh, okay. what's that? Am I going to do? Oh yeah, so haul later. I reckon. Um, uh, yes, I've got my bits from Liverpool, and uh, it won't be as long as this. I've got my bits from Liverpool and a few bits from Steve's charity shops in Wolverhampton. Oh, that makes me laugh to think that I just, although Steve, to be fair, did say he avoided going to his town charity shops at the weekend <laughs> because I was coming. Uh, um, and Karen might be on later as well with a man bundle. Yeah, I need to catch up with everybody's videos. I also need to package, oh, I can watch and package. And I need to do a post. Yeah, it's a bit of a tube day. And I've got her kids. They're all in, um, they're in, they're, oh, I've only got two. They're in Sweden skiing with the in laws, my mother in law Swedish. So, um, yeah, happy days. So, I've been, it was great in Liverpool. It was like, I felt like a normal civilized adult that can just do whatever they want. We went to the cavern every day for at least a drink. Um, we went to we went to some comedy, like new people coming out. It was totally free comedy night. There was one really, really good person, I can't remember his name, but there was one that was really um, bad and actually stropped off. It was really it was slightly awkward. Um, yeah, and we went to exhibitions. Oh, Oh, yeah, brilliant. I mean, I'm missing them, <laughs> but yeah, right. Um, yeah, so I, I went they're back. We don't get them back till Sunday because, um, my it's my friend's husband's he won't watch this surprise 40th Saturday night. So, um, so we're like, oh, could they come back Saturday? We're like, oh. You know, it's a bit bad, but then in chance you could keep them until Sunday because we've got that. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're making the most, let's just say that. Um, right, yes. Um, okay, thanks. 30 people have joined me and eight people have put their thumbs up. Um, I'll probably see you in... I'm losing the plot. Karen's live in a minute. Karen. Bye-bye. Uh,